All right, welcome back to the Mad County Build Series. And today is kind of a second part to my fiberglass tub shower install that I did, I don't know, a while back. I'll leave a, a link to that video right now. But one of the biggest comments I got um, out of that video is everyone saying that I needed to put either mortar or non-shrinkable grout or something underneath it to sturdy it up. And throughout um, all the remodels I've done, I've always bought showers that didn't require that and I've never done it. However, I've listened to the subscribers and the people that watch this video and I wanted to come up with a way that uh, somebody installing a tub shower by themselves could do this. And so let's go ahead and jump into it and check it out. All right guys, so the first thing you're gonna have to figure out is how much space you have under your, your tub there. And I'm like at four and a quarter inches because I want enough space that I can get my spray foam tube in there. I'm gonna use a two inch on the bottom and then a one inch piece and that'll give me about one, one and a quarter inches of space to fill that up with spray foam. So just makes it a little bit easier when you have a little bit more space. I mean, inch, inch and a half is probably about perfect. Um, the thing you gotta figure out is how can I slide my pieces in? I'm sliding these in from the back so this is 16 inch on center so I can get a 14 and a half inch pieces in there. Um, so that's just something you're gonna have to figure out on your own. But um, we're gonna get these all put in there and then we will uh, fill the tub up with water that will hold the bottom of the tub from letting that spray foam move it up. I don't think it would anyway because that, I mean that's pretty rigid but just to make sure, we're gonna fill the tubs with water um, at least halfway, uh, so there's enough weight there that, that spray foam, as it expands, it'll push out. So let's get this, uh, this one all finished um, as far as the polystyrene goes, and then we'll uh, work on the spray foam. So right here, all I'm doing is scoring the polystyrene, and it breaks just like drywall would. If you've never uh, worked with this stuff, it's super light and super easy to handle, so that's why I chose to fill that uh, gap, uh, some of that gap below the tub with this prior to using spray foam. And that'll also help if, you know, down the road I have to have to remove this shower somebody else does, um, it'll make uh, for an easy removal. All I'm doing here is just sliding these pieces in. I started with the two inch on the bottom and then I slid my one inch pieces and then I made sure that the top one inch pieces overlapped the seams of the bottom. Um, I don't think it would really matter and then I just used a little silicone to hold them together so they'd stay in place. Alright so now that we got all those pieces in there, like I said I used a two inch piece and a one inch piece over the top and uh, that gives me um, the right amount of space. Now I didn't I hadn't figured this out prior to getting this insulation I just had a bunch of it um, from other projects so I just used what I have but they make four inch they make I believe they make three inch so you can get uh, one full piece if that's what you choose um, but this is gonna work really good so we got all that in there As you can see, about a, not quite a one inch gap under there. Um, the bottom of the tub slopes a little bit, so it's a little less space here than it is down there, but we should have no problem filling that. Um, so if you, I have not hooked up my water yet, so if you don't have access to water or you don't want to put water in it because it might, maybe it's going to get below freezing, um, and you don't want to turn your water in, whatever the case may be, um, like up here, what I'm going to do is I'm going to take two five gallon buckets and I'm going to fill them with water and set them in there. And that should be plenty of weight uh, to keep that foam from moving the tub at all. In there, you can see I got them, I don't know, most of the way full. So there's probably about four and a half gallons in each one. That should be plenty of weight to hold that um, while I spray foam this. So you can see this is up to three inches. Um, I did the tub downstairs with two of these big cans and then the sides 
I just use the one inch gap filler and it works pretty good. So it comes with this nozzle right here, which you can see that's not very long and that's not going to be able to get the foam way back in there. So I went to the hardware store and you can buy this tubing and the inside diameter is an eighth inch. I think it says it on here somewhere. Yep. One eighth inch ID and that fits on this can perfectly. So what we can do is take this off and this stuff was 20 cents a foot and I bought 10 feet so I'd have enough for each uh, tub shower but that'll fit on there nice and tight so you're going to get a good seal and then you just cut this the length of you want you want and it's a little flimsy but I took a piece of 12 gauge wire and taped it to it to get it nice and straight so we'll do that um, we'll cut this at 18 inches and then we will put the piece of wire on there and tape it on there so it's good and strong so you can see that's plenty plenty strong to hold that straight out so now when I start spray foaming I can stick this all the way in there and start at the back and then just work my way to the front. But you can see that stands straight out perfect. It probably should have been a little bit warmer in there. I think it was about 55 degrees, but I did put a heater on this and that foam expanded just as it was supposed to and it is rock solid now. You can see that it kind of pushed out the sides as it expanded. All right guys, so as far as these go here, um, there's not a ton of room between the back there. So you can see right there, that's what I don't like. So we're gonna get rid of that by using the spray foam. And what I found is an easy way to do this is just take a piece of cardboard to hold here at the bottom to get a start and then work your way up. Alright, so for these gaps right here at the front and back of the shower, they're usually quite a bit bigger than the size. So I just rip, just rip some of the, the polystyrene into strips, put a little caulk or um, adhesive on one side. And then you can just put that in there stick that right to the stud and then that reduces the size of that gap so it takes a lot less uh, spray foam and just makes it a lot easier.
so now that this is dried and all cured, if you remember I tapped on that, this is what it's like now. So it's nice and solid. What this does is this foam grips to this fiberglass and to this 2x4 and then when it hardens it just it doesn't let that move at all. So um, overall I am super excited how this turned out and I have to admit standing in the shower um, does make it feel a little more solid and I guess I just never realized it before because I've never done that. So this is the shower we're using right now and as you can see I did these walls and I mean they're solid so it gives it a lot better feel and for those of you who may be remodeling a bathroom um, and don't have access to the outside walls what I had to do with this shower right here this is the only one that had a uh, wall on the back side of it so I couldn't come in from the back side what I did is I had those little I cut a little piece of styrofoam I reached down as far as I could I think I got down to about right here stuck that in there between the fiberglass and the 2x4s and then I reached over the top and filled that with spray foam and I mean it worked worked really good so you can do this even if you don't have access yes it's a little more difficult um, however um, you can do it because I did it you might just have to find if you're if you got really big arms I'm not that big of a guy so I could easily reach over the top and, and do it all right so that's it hopefully this uh, will be helpful to somebody this is just one way to do this and I found that this was an easy solution for me it cost about $35 per shower. I used two cans of the big spray foam and two cans of the small spray foam. And then at my store, you can buy smaller, I looked it up, you can buy smaller sections of that polystyrene. Um, so you could just do one, have enough for one shower and it cost about 35 bucks. So um, I felt like that was worth it to me and I'm super excited um, how it turned out. So I appreciate you guys watching and we will catch you on the next video.